Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, so drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique, professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money, and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide, and I respect your decision. But in this video, I will show you how to set up the footer and customize, fully customize the footer to make it very unique and professional and suits your purpose. So we will go through all the options it has so you can customize the footer and make it very professional. And also I will provide you with some bonus things, which is custom codes. Because obviously we're gonna add the payments icons to the footer, which is a must if you don't want to. And also we will make them interactive. So once you hover over them, they will be interactive. And I will provide you with a code that will do that, obviously. And also we will add a logo and the logo for your Shopify store will add a custom code for it so to make it black and white. And once you hover over it, it will become in color. And this is very good, it creates a contrast between the logo on the header and the logo on the footer. And again, this is optional. If you don't want to, you don't add the, you don't add the code, sorry and it will not be black and white. And not just that, and also the social media icons, because most of the Shopify teams, they have very tiny social media icons for the footer, and you, there is no options to customize them to make them larger. So in this video, I will show you with a custom code again, which is the social media icons that's very interactive, it looks very cool and professional, and also they, are, look, they look larger. So this is two birds again with one stone. I will show you how to set up the footer, set up everything that you must have on the footer, and also provide you with a custom code that will do all the things I mentioned. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with new team, nothing on it. Each video I add small customizations, but a video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this scroller logos, as you can see with the fade at the corners, and also it stops on the hover, and this is optional. And you can add the link to the logos, and also the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, and it's highly customizable. You can pick to who to show up to, first time visitors, or returning visitors, and many, many more things. Or you wanna see something that will make you more money, check this out. So this is, I have four products added to the cart and I didn't check out, as you can see. And this is the mouse cursor, right? I would act just like I wanna leave or close the page and this thing would show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder to remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. On all of this by using your own custom code, no application involved and no subscription payment you have to do each month for this. But I know you want to customize and set up the footer, right? That's exactly what I'm about to do in this video. Let me actually close this. And by the way, for this dem demonstration, we will use the new team, which is Horizon. But the steps are exactly the same. However, on Horizon, it has more options. That's why I did pick it. For example, if you're using different team, which is down team, it's exactly the same steps. However, it minus some bonus things because uh, the, on Horizon, it has many options, many blocks to add to the footer not for the, not just like down team. Down team has very few and you cannot go beyond that. So whatever team you are using, this tutorial will help you out. Just follow along with the steps and it's exactly the same for every Shopify team, even the paid ones. As I said, we will do demonstration on Horizon. So let me close this one and access Horizon, which is this one right here. And by default, the footer will be like blank, empty if I scroll down. So as you can see, it doesn't have much. It has this, and also I will show you how to actually change this powered by Shopify. If you wanna remove it, I will show you how to remove it. If you wanna change it, like powered by your brand or whatever, you can actually edit this. And I will show you that in this video. Uh, so it has this, by default, it has these like policy links, uh, which is required by law, so you must have it. And it's already added by default on the footer, so you don't have to add this manually. 
and uh, as well this join club and the subscription for the email and as you can see it doesn't have much so we'll keep this page open do the trick or actually you would see that in live so let, let me get back in here and the next thing you're going to do is click on customize button for the team you are using in my case as i said i will do it on horizon so i'm going to do that in here and it will open up the team editor for your shopify team and let me simply scroll all the way down and click on the footer make sure to click on the whole thing or you can click on it from the left panel instead which says footer click on footer and it will open up all the blocks that has that exist already exist on the footer and by the way this footer will show up on every shopify uh, page on your shopify store uh, product page contact us home page collection page it will show up on every uh, shopify page so the customizations you will do here uh, it will apply on every page so the first thing we're going to go through is the blocks that was added in here. In your case, if you're using different team, you should see different things. In my case, is there is a divider, which is just a space that divides, or actually a line, it's a line that divides between sections, so you can add it in case. And this one is email sign up content. Content by default is the text. This one that says join the club, as you can see. So if I click, for example, on the email sign up, you will see some uh, options in here, which is link on the right panel, on the right panel this time, link, open up a new tab. If you want to open the link on a new tab and the layout direction, vertical or uh, horizontal. So if I click on vertical, it will be below the text, the heading and the text, as you can see. So I would keep it like this because it looks better. And below some options, this is based on how you want to customize this widget. Or if you want to remove it, you can simply click on the trash bin right here and remove it. Or if you want actually just to hide it, click on the eye and it will be hidden as you can see. In my case, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it just like I did. And next is the content on it. As you can see, you can customize the content. If I click on the heading, you can actually customize the heading and below the content text, it will show you the this section where you can customize the text. In my case, I'm going to keep it just demonstration. And below is the email input. doesn't have much customizations. Even if I click on it, as you can see, just do it. If you want to show like 50% is taking half of the page. I'm going to reduce this actually to like 16%. Not too much. Yeah, 30% is perfect. As you can see, suits the exact text length. So I'm going to keep it as that. And below some other options, you can go through them and see which one will suit your design. In my case, I'm going to just add the border thickness. So it will be more obvious, more actually. Yeah, two pixels is perfect. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to head over to the footer utilities. If I click on the footer utilities, you will see this is uh, the, the uh, powered by Shopify and also the year and so on. This is by default, we change every year. You don't have to change it. Uh, and next, in the after I finish with the footer, I will show you how to actually change this powered by Shopify. And this one is the uh, policy links. And by default, they are here. I don't recommend you to, get to remove them. Make sure to keep them. So above the policy links, I want to add the payment icons. That's exactly what we're going to do. So in here, I'm going to simply click below the email input, click on add block, and it will show you this one right here and simply search for pay and you will see payment icons, as you can see. Simply click on it. If you're using a different custom made team uh, that doesn't have these options, just drop me a comment below. I will, have be, I will be happy to provide you the, the code that will do that. So as you can see, it shows up in here, but I want it in the middle. And to do that, simply head over to the right of the page and you will see alignment. As you can see, it says left by default. Click on it and pick center. So now they are in the center. However, I want to make them interactive as I said. And to make the icons interactive, let's just click on the save button first. And I'm going to open up a new dashboard because we need to add a custom code. And I don't want to leave this because we're going to get back to it so we can add the logo and we can add the social media icons. Here is the social media icons, by the way, so you can see uh, it's hidden by default. If I enable them, they are pretty small, as you can see. And there is no option to, to make them larger or anything like that. Even if I click on it on the, uh, on the right of the page, as you can see, it says no customizable settings available. So you cannot customize anything in here. Uh, this is not useful for us. I will share with code with you that will actually add very, very cool uh, social media icons. So in my case, as I said, I'm not going to show them. I'm going to hide them. Then after that, I'm going to click on save. So I want the changes to apply. Then I'm going to get back in here and I'm going to click on the three dots for the team you are using. In my case, I'm doing demonstration on Horizon and click on edit code. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. The next thing we're going to do, we need to find a specific file inside the assets folder. Instead of looking at the files because it has too many, simply use the search bar at the top of the page, then type in base and you will see base.css. And this exact file exists on every 
Shopify team, the ones that's available for free, even the paid ones, I think. So simply click on base. And after that, scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's a huge file. And here we go. Now we need to paste in the code in here. And where are you going to get that code? From the description, of course. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link. My website completely free again. Simply click on it and it will open up this page right here. And scroll down a little bit and you will see this code, the second code that says make uh, payment icons interactive. And then simply click on this icon to copy the code for it. Then get back in here in the code editor and simply paste them in here. That's very simple, right? As you can see, it's very short code. Simply click on the save button, wait for a couple of seconds. Now it's saved. So let's just check out the store and see if they are indeed interactive or no. So let me scroll all the way down and here it is. So once I hover over them, as you can see, each icon on the payments icon are actually interactive, just like I promised. Now the next step is we need to add the logo. Then we're going to add the social media icon. Or actually, let me add the social media icons first because I already opened up the website. To do so, simply get back to my website, then scroll down a little bit, and you will see the, second, the third call story, which is interactive social media icons. Then simply click on the, this icon to copy the code, and we will copy the whole code, get back in here, and we need to add a custom liquid block. To do so, simply hover below the uh, email sign up, as you can see, and you will see add block option. Simply click on it and search for custom liquid, here, as you can see it, simply click on it and it will show you this prompt on the right of the page this time, right here to pass in the code and simply pass in the code that you did copy from my website. So simply pass it in here and here they are, as you can see, they are very, very interactive. If I click on the save button, they have colors as well. Let me show you that in live. So let me reload the page and here they are. So check this out. So once I hover over them, as you can see, shiny and even the icon inside the circle interact and it shows the exact color for each social media icons, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, as you can see. And to change the links, that's very simple. Get back in here because obviously you need to set the link for your Insta TikTok pro profile as well as Instagram and so on. So get back to the code in here and I'm going to show you how to do that. Simply scroll all the way down and you will see this section right here. And I think you already know what this is. So this is basically just links for social media. So this one says facebook.com your page. Instagram your handle, TikTok your handle, YouTube channel your handle. So simply change the links in here for your profiles, then click on save, I mean not here on my website, do them actually in here on the team editor or copy the code inside the code, uh, code editor or text editor and change the links in here and click on save, then we'll change the links for them. Because now if I click on each icon, it will open up the same as you can see your channel handle, there is no channel in this name and they look way better than the uh, original ones that I showed you earlier. Now we're going to add the logo and actually to change the position, if you want to change the position with this one, simply click on the dots again and simply drag it where you want to place it. Then just say, for example, you want to place it below the payment icon and it will go all the way down as you can see. But in my case, I actually want it in there. So I'm going to drag it up. That's perfect. And it did show up on the left because I added it in the email section uh, email sign up section, uh, which I agree, I want it here. So if you want it in the middle or on the right side, simply add the block somewhere else in case here, for example. That's very simple, right? Now let's just add the logo because we don't have the logo here. Then we will make it black and white and on hover, it will be actually um, in color. And that, as I said, creates a very different look than the header. Sorry, I mean the logo on the header. So to do that, simply same exact step. I'm going to add it actually uh, above the footer utilities. So I'm going to click on it, then simply search for logo again. And here is the option logo. But in my case, I think it will show the text. Yeah, plain text. I actually don't want it here. So I'm going to add it you know, on, the, on the, the other side. So I'm going to delete this one. And I want it to be actually in here, in the middle above. So I'm going to below the divider, I'm going to hover over below it and add block again and search for logo. And here is I see it. And as I said, it did show up as a text because I don't have a logo. And this is a very good example actually, so I can show you how to set the logo. Simply head out to the settings icon on the top left corner and click on it. Then you will see logo. The first one is logo and favicon. Click on logo and select your default logo. I'm gonna select my YouTube channel logo instead. Here is, and here is, as you can see, it shows up. Let me click on save. But it looks a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna actually change the height. Yeah, now it's perfect. Now, actually, I, 
As you can see, the example I give you, it, look, it doesn't look good because it's same exact logo on the header is it exactly the same on the footer. I want this one without color. So once I hover over it with the mouse cursor, then it will show the color, which is very, very good. So I'm gonna click on save button. Then I'm gonna get back to my website again. This time scroll to the first up to the first code, which is this one says black and white logo, as you can see on uh, color on hover and simply click on this icon to copy the code again, then get back to the code editor and paste it in exactly the same file, which is base.css as you can see. So simply click on enter, then simply paste in the code in here, then click on save, wait for a couple of seconds, we will get back in here, reload the page and see the logo without color. As you can see, it looks very different from the header, it has more contrast now. So once they hover over it, here is the color. And it has a transition animation, as you can see, not quickly, it slowly shows the color, which, look, which looks very good. And I know on the right of the screen, there is empty space. You can add many, many more things. This is this whole demonstration. The last thing I'm gonna show you now, how to edit the Powered by Shopify text. And that's very simple. Simply get back to the code editor with it open, exit from the code editor, then click again on the three dots for the team you are using, and click this time on edit default team content. Simply click on it and it will open up where you can actually change any text you want. Then after that, click on the icon at the top right corner, again, the icon for the search, then click on it and simply search for Powered. And here is, you will see uh, the actually the one in the middle, uh, the one that has to do with links, as you can see, Powered by Shopify. And you can change this however you want, powered by your brand or powered by Google or whatever you want. And that's how you set up the footer on your Shopify store and many more things I shared with you guys, including custom calls so you can add your own social media icons and so on. And if you have any questions or any adjustment you want or any custom code you want, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.